welcome to Deep in a Bunker. So, with the onset of winter, it's time to kick back and enjoy the fruits of our labour throughout the year. And to that, we're going to be making mince pies. Now I absolutely love making mincemeat. It's that one time a year where you get to make something so rich and it just goes with anything. I mean, so armed with my food bible, let's get on and make it. Right, I'm going to need mixed fruit, but not only just mixed fruit, I'm going to make it up myself. So I'm going to uh, not rely on the supermarket stuff, I'm going to make it up of apricots, cranberries, sultanas and uh, raisins, but not currants because currants are disgusting and I would never make an ever recommend them going in any food at all. So, uh, yeah, keep going with that. We're gonna have our stem ginger, we're gonna have some mixed peel, we're gonna have our almonds, orange peel, lemon peel, the juice of that, of course, um, lots of brown sugar, and it's gonna be the best ever. So this recipe calls for uh, 800 grams of fruit uh, mixed up. So we're gonna use that, about 300 raisins, 300 sultanas, and the rest of the 200, so we're going to make it up. We're going to make it really sexy with the uh, cranberries, with the stem ginger, the almonds, um, and everything else that goes into it. Now let's add to this our stem ginger. Oh, that is absolutely wonderful. So chop it up, give a nice rock. Chop up there. Okay. Don't want it too small, because this is all about the flavour. Scrape that to the side and repeat the process with our apricots, dried apricots, really wonderful. Right, this all goes in a pot, stick it in, followed by our flaked almonds. Two your sugar, add your mixed spice, your nutmeg, and of course, cinnamon. Now for the messy part. So what I'm going to do is shred a couple of apples up, just going to use a grater for this, and straight in there. I'm going to add to this the rind and juice of an orange and a lemon. So, quite simply, keep turning, keep grating it off. I don't want the thick stuff at the bottom, not the pith. I want the skin at the top. As you can see, it's very lightly taking it off, and that is absolutely perfect. All that zestiness going straight in there. Okay, final dry ingredient, and it is, of course, beef suet okay it is the last uh, remnants of meat in mincemeat don't worry vegetarians there is a uh, vegetable suet available and yeah, perfectly uh, you couldn't tell the difference so in with the suet and finally a bit of Christmas spirit brandy don't need anything here cooking brandy is fine cheap brandy just slosh it in there don't be afraid it's never too much time to mix it up so don't be afraid hand time in there really get it stuck in and enjoy the squelchiness now that is smelling good fruity lovely and look at the end result that is amazing however not finished there because uh, i've left it raw and i'm not going to cook it some people say cook it and then jar it i'm not i'm simply going to stick it in my jars i found these dowered but jars here absolutely wonderful uh, hold about um 800 grams something like that whatever but and to prove it's good here we have december 2017's or october whenever i made it it was definitely 2017 mince meat from there I've got a couple of jars left over and i'm going to make it now and it is going to be scrumptious so on a floured surface we're going to roll out our pastry and if you can't be bothered to roll it out you shop for it it's just fine and no one will know except you and me with knife cup done repeat this 12 more times and we're on to a winner so for the lids i'm simply going to repurpose leftover dough egg bowl roll it out and it'll be fine 
Lovely lids, uh, and if you want to make them sweet because it's a plain one, you can simply add some sugar to it and it'll be fantastic. If you want to leave them without lids, the display is even better. So, while it's getting on, simply uh, prepare our tray. So a little bit of butter in each, swirl it around. So the same rule apply to make our lid as our base. So we put the cup down, score around, and we've got a lid. So I'm not going to do the whole 12. I think I'm only going to do six, uh, probably because I only got enough pastry. And, um, you know, I think I really do want to try and show off the contents rather than just a plain pie. So into the tray, put your bases and let's fill them up with absolutely Christmas deliciousness. <laughs> Very vintage 2017. So here we go. Just need a spoonful or so. Yeah, just filling up the last few pastry cases here. And as you can see, this is absolutely wonderful, really delicious and moist. You can see that, oh, the smells coming through are wonderful. You know what? I'm getting a strong head of whiskey here, and I think that's definitely what I made it with last time, whiskey, not brandy. But that's the personal thing. Whatever you want to make it with, you do that. At this point now, I think the ones I'm going to leave open, I'm going to do something nice. Just a few flaked almonds on there on this side, because they're really nice and tasty. And once they're in the oven, they're going to brown up just perfectly. The other lot, I'll cover with the pastry cases and dust with some sugar. So, there we go. Pastry cases on. Right, now it's time to brush with a little egg on top. Give that a lovely glaze and just finish off with a dusting of sugar. On it goes. Just a little bit of extra sweetness, in case you haven't got enough already. Right, let's pop these into the oven. Gas mark six-ish, and we should be fine. About 20 or so minutes, 25. Um, use your judgment. Wow, now that's looking really delicious. Red hot, but absolutely delicious. Um, yeah, all the freestyles work well. The almonds haven't burned, um, it's perfect. The smell, ah, although it's only November, I wish it was a Christmas day already. And I've done just as well with the mincemeat. One, two, three jars. So that's fantastic. So leave that a couple of years, that'll be so mature, just like this, uh, boozy and lovely. Um, I can't wait to get stuck into it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna eat these. Right, well there's only one thing left to do, and that is taste them. Let's try a little almond one here. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that is rich and boozy. I mean, really boozy. Probably wouldn't give it to kids, <laughs> unless you want to get them drunk. But wow, that's it. The perfect compliment, tea. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I certainly enjoyed making it and um, yeah, please do try out the recipe. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So for now, it's been Deep in a Bunker. Take care, stay safe, stay sane, and a Merry Christmas.